Hi there, my name's Wayne Natman. And I'm Anna Katrine. We met back in 2004 on a missions internship in California. We knew the Lord was up to something when we got engaged to be married exactly five weeks later to the day. We came to Australia believing we'd be here only a very short time before we would go out into the missions field. But we paused and we actually asked God what He wanted us to do while we're here. And the very next day, we learned about Christian TV. And we felt in our spirit that this was what God wanted us to do. So together, we started InstaLife back in 2005 to provide Christian TV to people's homes. The first year, we did it all voluntary. And then we strongly felt God wanted us to do it full time. Yeah, so we did it. Then a little later on, we started to volunteer for God TV and we were diligent in all the little things. And as we were, God kept giving us bigger things. We've been stewarding InstaLife now for over 18 years. And over those years, we have been honored to be able to invest over $16 million towards missions and helping people get Christian TV. Wayne has also been the regional director for God TV for over 15 years. Yes, it's true. There have been some amazing highs and some difficult lows along the journey. But I do know that as we did the little things right, God kept trusting us with more. And the latest example is with this whole satellite changeover to Vast. We didn't want to make a big song and dance about it at the time, but Telstra recommended and even took some of their contracted channels to the IS-19 satellite. And we felt strongly that the Lord wanted us to reach more people. So, one miracle after another kept occurring as we walked the walk to become satellite broadcasters, technically in opposition to Telstra, working with Optus and the VAST satellite platform. VAST has over 1 million existing viewers. I can assure you it was a battle of battles for us and the team to do what we have done. Our health, our finances, and on occasion our sanity all took a heavy toll. Yep. <laughs> But you know what? Today, InstaLife's the first Christian satellite broadcasting ministry in Australia. Perhaps even the first across the world. Yeah, and I'd like to encourage you, if you are on the InstaLife missions plan or you support InstaLife in any way, you are honestly equipping us to take the Christian channels to the vast viewers. And it's because without you, we just couldn't do it. We decided to help all of the networks get onto the platform with no profit built in. We simply wanted to help. In fact, we even provide a very special rebate to them to be as big a blessing as we could possibly be to help them get on and established onto Vast. So as we come to the end of 2023 and look towards 2024, we wanted to take this opportunity to thank you. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you for your ongoing support of Christian TV. Thank you for intentionally deciding to support missions. Thank you for the wonderful kind encouragements and feedbacks we receive from you. And thank you for your sacrificial giving. We do not take you or your support for granted. Anna Katrina and I would go through it all again to be a help. We would do it just for you, knowing that Christian TV is important to you. And our prayer is that God uses the channels powerfully in the lives of those who do not know Him yet. Those that are in remote indigenous communities, those that are in prison where we've installed God TV, those farmers who desperately need hope in their lives. And we pray that God uses it powerfully to equip and empower and encourage you to be that all that God created you to be. So in closing, we want to once again let you know that we appreciate you very much. May I quickly say that if somehow you're watching this video and you let your Christian TV lapse, if you haven't come across to Vast yet, or if you would like to get it installed once again, please call our office on 1300 Live TV. That's 1300 543388. And one of our team members would love to help you. Yeah, so on behalf of our entire team, be blessed this Christmas and we'll be praying for you as we transition into the new year. The following video is what will air on God TV. It's my God TV regional update and I want to encourage you to watch it for more insight into what God's been doing in and through our lives. God bless you and bye for now.
G'day friends. I hope this message finds you in good health and spirits. For those who haven't had the chance to meet me, I'm Wayne Natman, proudly serving as the Australasian Regional Director at God TV for well over a decade now. And yes, I must admit it, the passage of time has gifted me with a few more grey hairs along the journey. This last year has been filled with its fair share of challenges. In fact, it's safe to say that this stretch of time has presented some of the most demanding moments I've ever encountered in my whole life. But as the saying goes, great outcomes are seldom achieved without overcoming great obstacles. Yet through the storms, I'm thrilled to share with you the incredible achievements that the Lord has orchestrated within our region. You see, our broadcast satellite faced decommissioning prompting us to make a pivotal decision. We stood at a crossroads, stick with a local provider, reaching a very limited audience, or embrace a difficult transition to vast. After much prayer and careful consideration, we chose the path of vast. This choice demanded upgrades for all of our existing viewers, but it also opened the door to reach over a million additional individuals who are yet to experience the love of the Lord. Why vast, you may wonder? The answer lies in our twofold mission. Firstly, vast offers us an incredible opportunity to share the gospel with a vast number of people. It's a calling that aligns perfectly with our mission. The S in Sir is souls. And secondly, this choice holds a deeper significance as it allows us to address important issues here in Australia. Issues like the distressing suicide rate amongst Indigenous communities and among farmers. Did you know that Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples, 62.2% of whom live in rural areas, have twice the suicide rate as non-Indigenous people in Australia? Every two days, at least one Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander takes their life. Think about that. The Lord also revealed another terrible fact about our farmers. The suicide rate amongst farmers in Australia is up to 94% higher than non-farmers. On average, one farmer dies by suicide every 10 days. These are our fellow Australians, so desperate that they have no way out. These heart-wrenching statistics deeply move me, as I'm sure it does you. As we continue to work in partnership together, I'd like to share a heartwarming testimony from John, who is overjoyed to have God TV on Vast. See, John is a farmer and he conducts small evangelistic meetings twice a month. One of the attendees shared that his neighbor, who is a farmer, found God TV on his Vast channels and he started to ask him questions about God. John says, thank you so much for being available. Now, isn't this exciting? It's early days, but this is the fulfillment of our hopes and our prayers. With Vast, we're not only broadcasting God TV, we're becoming a beacon of hope to every remote corner, every farm and every indigenous settlement. And Vast is accessible in all of these areas. Placed right alongside all of the mainstream channels, God TV is becoming an inescapable presence in their lives. We're more than a screen or a channel. We're a lifeline to many. And speaking of lifelines, our efforts continue to ensure prisoners have continued access to God TV. Despite the challenges, about 60% of the prisons that were installed with God TV have now undergone upgrades high prison staff turnover and new management posed hurdles as some were even unaware of God TV's prior installation. We had to reinvest substantial time and resources to reinforce our presence, critical for prisoners' continued access. And it comes at a high cost. And while funding challenges persist, our unwavering commitment to reach prisoners remains. With each upgraded prison, hundreds of inmates discover the mercy and grace of Jesus right in the privacy of their own cells. We earnestly seek your prayers and support for breakthroughs to complete the essential upgrade and for more prisons in Australia to say yes to God TV. 
As we press forward, we're reminded of the words in Matthew 28, 19, therefore go. Together, we embark on this journey led by Jesus with intention and purpose. Despite the obstacles, we are committed and determined to reach the lost. No matter where you are in the world, whether through prayer, partnership or engagement, together we are extending the reach of God TV, sharing the gospel of the kingdom from your living room to remote regions, to farmers, to indigenous communities and to prisoners. So thank you from the depths of my heart, your support together through trials and triumphs, we are lighting up lives and spreading the light of God's message. So our most sincere gratitude goes to each and every one of you. May God bless you and may he use you powerfully.